So the other day I completed Days Gone on PC for the first time ever. And the first thing I wanna say is I wish I played this game when it originally came out. This is one of the first zombie games that I actually cared about in a very long time. And it just absolutely destroyed all my expectations in the best way possible. If you clicked on this video, you probably already know what Days Gone actually is, but it's pretty much a, a post-apocalyptic action adventure game that was developed by Ben Studios and published by Sony Entertainment on the PS4 at the time of release. Now the game is set in Oregon. It's in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Two years after a global pandemic has wiped out most of the world's population and turned many of the survivors into freakers, which are pretty much mindless zombies that run really fast and are all over the world. Now for me playing the game on PC, the gunplay so, so good. It was way better than I ever expected it to be. I remember watching a lot of people or a lot of streamers when it originally came to PC and I saw how it looks like you can it kind of has that like GTA 5 feel to it where you can turn around within a second aim on an enemy get a good headshot do that back to back to back against a ton of zombies. So it really feels smooth. So you play as Deacon St. John in the game as he pretty much explores and tries to survive in this zombie hell. Uh, you're scavenging for resources. You're fighting off freakers the entire time. You're fighting other human survivors. You're taking down ambush camps. There's all types of crazy uh, things that Deacon actually ends up getting himself into. On top of that, there's a ton of weapons that you can get, different camps that you can get to and level them up and then as you level them up you unlock more weapons and even cool skins for your bike too that's always a fun thing i i would like to keep in my bike mostly just plain blacked out but if you want that kind of stuff there's a lot of customization and even like all the way towards the end of the game i was unlocked probably three or four every mission there's also a crafting system where you can make and create all types of traps and different lures for the all types of hordes that you go up against when we talk about the hordes too they are huge. The numbers that you go up against, even in the story, you run into a few, but even just out in the world, there's so many that like even I still haven't gone through and done all of them. I may continue a playthrough. I may go back here and there. I uh, do a few extra episodes, but I don't I'm not too sure just yet, uh, but they are huge and they although they go down pretty quick when you go up against, you know, I don't know, 150, 200 at a time. It can be very stressful at times when you see the graphics for this game, too. It absolutely looks beautiful on PC. Now, for those of you that don't know, I have a 3080 Ti. There's actually a pretty new PC that I got within the last two months by MSI and the world looks amazing. Amazing. the vegetation I know I just got off the high of Witcher 3 but this world even though it's a post-apocalyptic game it still looks beautiful all around from seeing the cars on the side of the road completely destroyed um, seeing the locations of like the livelihood that some of these survivors and camps created it works so well and even though it is like that end of the world era it just it's crazy sometimes you you honestly forget it for the most part i feel like the sound design was actually pretty good for the game um having the bike oh and speaking of the bike that driving the motorcycle that deacon st john early on it does feel a little bit slow and you can't really do all the drifts and all that but as you kind of progress and make uh become higher friendship with the camps they give you a lot more options to customize your bike and then on top of that you can also uh upgrade it and make it way faster than it initially was and let me tell you by the end of the game i was drifting corners i was whipping uh ue's everywhere like it feels awesome and the bike honestly i think sounded pretty good the nitrous was pretty cool the gun sound effects the the uh tommy gun that you get is really nice it's a lot of fun shooting that thing at zombies especially hordes of them uh the 50 cal sniper rifle oh that was amazing and i got a few moments where we got some really good headshot streaks uh so that was it was really cool for those and they sound great now real quick going back to like the game's world honestly like when you looked around there was so many diverse areas that you could go to like i was saying like there's snowy mountains there's forests there's deserts even in some areas uh, there's so much exploration and little things that you can find all over the world 
it was really cool. Even like outposts kind of had their own story, camps, ambush camps, bunkers. There's so much variety there that like, honestly, I was not expecting that at all, but I'm really surprised with how good it actually uh, was this far. I mean, it's an open world game, but you never know nowadays. And on top of that, this game came out in 2019. Like here we are in 2023 and it's still hit like so many marks that I thought I wasn't expecting. On top of the story, I think it was all pretty good. Uh, it started out very intense. You get separated from your wife, uh, Sarah. You don't really know much anything about her other than she got put on a helicopter and disappeared. Then it fast forwards two years and you're just out surviving with your buddy Boozer. Um, and then of course, like starting out, the story was a little bit slow, kind of finding an objective, but then things start to pick up. And honestly, when they did pick up the acting for the characters and Sam Witwer, he absolutely nailed it as Deacon. There are so many times where I was like, holy, like, obviously he did a great job as Darth Maul in the clone series, but seeing him play as Deacon in this game, just saw, I saw a whole new side of uh, Sam Witwer. I never saw before. I feel like the story was honestly well written too. I think for the most part, every time I went to a new camp, I kind of actually cared about the characters that I was meeting. Iron Mike was probably one of my favorites that I met. Every character that we met in the game, I feel like I expected them to be one way. But then as we got to meet them more, they were complete opposite. Overall, though, I feel like the actors in this game absolutely nailed it. And they did such a good job at just putting a story together and running with it. And like I said in the beginning, like this is one of the first zombie games that I cared about in a long time. The only other one that's recently came out was like Dying Light 2. And the story was OK for that. But like I think Days Gone story was miles better. Now, we kind of already talked about this, too, but uh, when we talk about like innovation and something new to this genre, the hordes of zombies was insane. The amount of different styles we are starting to meet and then also seeing the animals out there too, the infected animals going up against the zombies at times. They were really cool. The amount of different variations of zombies that we started getting towards later on in the game. You know, when we got the heavy, um, the heavy guys. Those were pretty cool. Also, the rushers, those were like very 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 damage intense for taking them down uh so it was really cool seeing how many different versions of zombies and how massive this scale was for some of the battles and fights that you would go up against honestly i don't know if i can go anywhere else with this i just wanted to kind of put together like a video for the first time talking about like one specific game that i really enjoyed and kind of came out of nowhere and honestly the community on tiktok twitch youtube everyone all around was super positive like me playing through the game uh the entire time people were just constantly saying oh you're in for a treat oh i love this part oh this game is so underrated and i absolutely agree i wish that we knew or they announced or had plans for making a second game. But at the moment, uh, Ben Studios apparently said that they have no plans. Sam Whitmer, when the game originally released, said, if you guys want a second, you got to buy it. You got to buy it at full price. Of course, there's a little bit of marketing to that, too. But it is true. If you want a game to, you know, get a sequel, it does have to do well. It is a business at the end of the day. I get that. But it sucks not knowing if we're ever going to get a sequel, especially with I've been keeping very spoiler free here. But without saying anything, the ending of the game, the secret ending uh, really sets up some future possibilities. And honestly, a lot of the characters, too, like when you say your your final goodbyes, a lot of them set up uh, some future possibilities with them, too. Overall. Overall, too, I actually had like not many bugs. It was only like the last like maybe five or six hours in my playthrough that I started running into some weird things. And it was really just like ladders glitching out or enemy enemies spawned in one time, like very oddly on the spot. Aside from that, though, it was pretty flawless. The, I it didn't really have many issues. I know when the game originally released, it was a buggy mess, supposedly. And I mean, it was on PS4, so I don't know if it would be a different story if it came out on PS5 today instead. Uh, but either way, I really enjoyed it. That's pretty much everything I have to say. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely let me know in the comments if you have any type of parts that you want to talk about or 
any other games you suggest that are kind of like Days Gone and you would like to see a playthrough of, feel free to let me know. I want to try to do more episodes or more video topics, like talking videos of games I love, whether it's new, whether it's old, and kind of give some feedback on why to kind of build a little bit more personality so you guys get to know like where I'm coming from and why I love some of these story games and why I play them, really. Because, yeah, I mean, that's I feel like that just gets to get to know me a little bit better about that. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, uh, stop by the live stream sometimes. And, uh, for now that's, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.